I already told you guys how direct ballot initiatives really were good the other night on election night. Um, we got marijuana won on every single ballot it was on, legalizing all drugs won in Oregon, uh, decriminalizing magic mushrooms won in one or two places. I know D.C. is one. I don't remember the other one. Um, it was a clean sweep for the correct position on the direct ballot initiatives. In Florida, we had over 60% Voted to raise the minimum wage, so now the Florida minimum wage is going to be raised. Amazing. I mean, this stuff is just great. I did miss some, though. I missed some other direct ballot initiatives. Uh, I learned about them today, and I can't wait to share this with you. Colorado voters have approved a new paid family and medical leave law. The measure had the support of 57% of voters as of 9.30 p.m., with a sizable lead of nearly 400,000 votes. Under Proposition 118, Colorado would require that employers provide 12 weeks of paid time off for childbirth and family emergencies. Eight other states in Washington, D.C. have created similar programs in the last two decades. I am happy for the workers of Colorado, said State Senator Faith Winter, a paid leave proponent. The new law will ensure that mothers don't have to return to work mere days after giving birth, she said and that cancer patients can take time to heal. 12 weeks paid vacation. That is so awesome. Overwhelmingly passed 57%, 400,000 vote lead. Probably will be more when all is said and done. That's awesome. I have more for you. Arizona voters approved a tax measure this week that will raise rates for the state's wealthiest households. Known as Proposition 208, the measure aims to essentially set up a fifth income tax bracket for wealthy residents that would raise the top rate to 8% from 4.5% through an additional 3.5% tax on incomes above $250,000 and $500,000 for joint filers. The tax is expected to raise an estimated $940 million per year and revenue would be used for education-related expenses. So they voted directly on raising taxes a little bit for people who make over $250,000 and using that money to help fund the school system. Passed. It passed. I don't have the exact number in front of me, but it passed. It's almost like 80%, maybe even 90% of the time, you put something up for a direct vote, people are really reasonable and they pick the position that makes sense. God, I love direct democracy. Again, you always need to have a constitution along with it to take rights off the table. Say, hey, you can't touch these. Can't touch them. But everything else, yeah, why shouldn't it be open to the will of the people? Why shouldn't it be? I love this stuff, man. I really, really love this stuff. So marijuana was a clean sweep. Minimum wage won. Paid uh, family leave and medical leave won. Raising taxes on the wealthy run won. And giving that money to the school system won. I'll tell you what, I will take the American people over the corrupt corporate politicians in America any day of the week.